Good morning. Welcome to Column Hinge at Alpha Omega Mystery School. We're located halfway between Death Valley and Las Vegas. Halfway between Joshua Tree and Area 51 in the Mojave Desert of the Southwest United States. Good morning. Good morning. Today is May 16th, 2020. The ancient magic ritual you're about to experience is unique in the world. Written and performed from the first person perspective of Jesus of Nazareth, this ride is called the Opening of the Treasury of Light, and it comes from the Bruce Codex, an ancient Christian manuscript <clears throat> rediscovered beneath the sands of Egypt in 1769 that purports to contain the secret teachings of Jesus to his disciples. I'm Bishop David Griffin. I'm Reverend High Priestess Leslie McQuaid. And this is the Lost Magic of Jesus Revival. By the way, Leslie, look really quick down there off your right. I see something really nice. There's the hot air balloon is back. Yes, isn't that the wonderful? First time since this crazy virus hit, we see the hot air balloons again. That's, That's a crazy. good sign. It's a very good sign. Sunrise will be occurring just any second now. Well, we're in plenty of time for sunrise. Yes, well, there's some synth clouds there oh, on the horizon. Oh, they always put that garbage on the mountainside. This aerial spraying has got to stop. Yes. Why try and switch us over to solar when you're simultaneously trying Dimming to... Dimming the sun. It's <laughs> laughable. And, and, and why tell us that we have a world crisis with carbon at the same time that you're spraying shit on us from the air and that you're putting garbage in our water? Yeah, they're liars. There it is! The sun is the dispenser of light to the earth. May the living light of the God Force inflame our souls with abundant life. Our destiny lies amongst the stars, and to the stars humanity shall ascend.
Take a nice deep breath and feel into your body. Breathe deeply. Feel as your breath forces your bones and muscles and tendons into movement. Feel how each breath excites sensations on your skin, in your stomach, along the back of your spine. And as you're breathing deeply and feeling deeply into each and every part of yourself, visualize yourself as the tree of life, however it is you imagine that tree to be, and grow your branches up high into Alpha Sky. Drive your roots down deep into Omega Earth. I call on you in the East, Alpha. I call on you in the West, Omega. I call on you in the North, Alpha. I call on you in the south, Omega. <clears throat> oh, ah. Alpha. At Omega. The beginning. And the end. The path of the age between. Sunrise. And sunset. The path of the sun between. Birth. And death. The path of life between. Once again, we gather here in this sacred place at Column Hinge. This church not made with hands and reaching out with the energy of our energetic bodies, we call upon the invisible life force all around us. And flooding our souls with this divine life energy, we call upon the angels in the invisible. Angels, watchers of the seventh treasury of light, attend. E O E I E E O E I E E O E I E And there are 12 heads in his treasury, and these are the names that are in the places when they sing praises to my father, and he gives light power to them. Almighty angel, head in the place of the east, <clears throat> of my Father's seventh treasury of light. By your name, we invoke you. Io, <clears throat> Io Nazeo. Io Nazeo. O na zo e i O na ze O Ea ze o ze ye. 
Tonama o, tonama o. Ibrahisa aya, Ibrahisa. Bao Hazayo Bao Hazayo Ozayo Etho e o zai o i. Ete o zai o i. Ze na za ho za. Foxa, Foxa, Aya, Foxa. Ia é iozo, ia é iozo a é. Ia é iozo a é. Ao ize a ai. Ao ize a ai. And so we completed our journey through the places, invoking each mighty angel, head in its proper place and in its proper rank until at length we came into the place of the midst, the place of the center, the place of the father of the treasury of life. O father of the treasury of light, <clears throat> by your cipher and by your name we invoke you Ziza o, ziza o, 
Let the divine light descend. <coughs> this morning, <coughs> before we explain our intention once again and our prayer for this particular ritual, I'm giving you the opportunity to express your prayer, to express your desire. Yes, I'm speaking to you. You who lost your job at the beginning of this shutdown. I know you're out there. I can feel your anxiety. I can feel your anguish. I can feel you wondering if you're ever going to get back to work, how you're going to feed your family. Well, right now, in this very moment, you're in the presence of angels, angels of the Lord. So right now is your opportunity to ask for a miracle with a pure and open heart. Are you ready to return to work? Are you ready to return, go to your abundance and prosperity? I know you are. Then ask now. Ask God right now for a miracle and your prosperity shall be returned to you. Your abundance shall be returned to you. Let go of fear and ask God in pure faith. And all shall be returned to you. I promise you that. In the name of the living Jesus. And so we ask as we ask every day. Our fervent prayer and our magical intention as it is every single day. To establish human freedom worldwide. Human freedom worldwide. Set our people free. Set our people free. Protect Homo sapiens from extinction. Protect Homo sapiens from extinction. Protect the integrity of our genetic code. Protect the integrity of Homo sapiens genetic code. Restore the purity of our air. Restore the purity of our air. Of our water. Restore the purity of our water. Of our food. Restore the purity of our food. And our medicines. Restore the purity of our medicines. May all those who search for the abundant life promised by the living Jesus discover how to flood your soul to overflowing with the living light all around you. There is so much of it. It's here right now. Just feed your soul. Reach out and shine. And then in that hour when death comes calling, may we shed this earth suit like a serpent sheds its skin, this physical body. And may we in pure consciousness in a body of pure living light rise triumphant into the kingdom of light the kingdom of heaven promised is the kingdom of my Father by the living Jesus. All these things we ask in the name of the living, <coughs> of the living Jesus. Amen. Amen. So mote it be. Take a moment now to again feel into your body. <coughs> this ancient magical rite we are doing together brings more life to you, more energy, more stamina, more happiness. God force energy brings more of everything you want into your life because it is the source of everything. As you breathe into God force energy, you learn new things. As you breathe into God force energy, you open yourself to new sensations. As you breathe in God force energy, you become a more perfect human being. We all seek to be perfect in that way that we imagine ourselves. We see that there are things we do to improve things we do to change. And when we desire change, it takes effort. We focus our powerful will towards that change. Change is always accompanied by discomfort, but at the end, there's the glory and joy of knowing that not only have you done what you set out to do, you have done it well and have been successful. 
if you crave success, if you enjoy life and want more life, even if you find life to be difficult and a challenge that you don't think you can rise up to, I know you can. Because I know what God Force is capable of. I have seen the changes that happen in people's lives when they simply open their minds to the idea that by thinking about power, when you breathe, you breathe in more power. When you think about success, when you breathe, you are breathing in that success. Your consciousness is that powerful. Your consciousness is powerful enough to take the raw materials of the universe and bend and pound and shape it into the world that you want. You can be exactly what you want. All you need to do is remember you have a secret magical power. And that secret magical power is that you can wield God force. Breathe in this powerful life energy. And today, you will experience life the way you have always dreamed it could be. Vibrant, exciting, full of challenges and successes, full of wins and happiness. And so today, as you go out into your day, take a nice deep breath of God force and know that you have pure power at your back. Thank you, Leslie, for those inspiring words. <clears throat> this morning, I thought I would share with you a, a little bit more of our personal story. When the crisis hit, when the shutdown came, we were taken by surprise, and it was a moment that Alpha Omega was short on liquidity. We had paid off a bunch of things, and suddenly, we thought, oh, no problem to the end of the month, and suddenly the shutdown came. There was that moment, that week when the stock market crashed, that I nearly lost faith. I was afraid. I nearly shut down our advertising funnel. It nearly happened. But I prayed that night for a miracle. And the very next morning when we were here, I put out a call to you. I asked for donations like I had never asked before. I explained to you that we rely on you alone, that we will never take any government money. This mission shall stand and fall on the faith of you and us. And you came through for us that day. And in the days that followed, you held us up. You sustained me in a moment when my faith was weak, in a moment when fear had the upper hand. And that's how it works. We sustain one another. And that's why today that we are once again strong and vibrant in the Alpha Omega, I reach out to you who may still be experiencing a moment of fear, that you may rely on my faith, that you may rely on our faith, I promise you there is nothing to fear. Nothing to fear but fear itself. The fear that you may still be experiencing is media-induced hysteria. Look around you. Look at the sh shining sun. Look at the insects. Look at everything. How magnificent and perfectly in order all of nature is. And breathe in the God force and become once again part of that harmony. All you have to do is ask God for a miracle. Ask God for a miracle and your prosperity shall return stronger and better than ever before, before the crisis. Rely on my faith. Rely on Leslie's faith if you can't find the strength in yourself right now. Rely on the faith of all of the brothers and sisters of Alpha Omega. And we shall hold you up in your moment of crisis, the way that you held us up in ours. Thank you so much for coming out today. Be sure and drop by and visit us at alphaomega.church. If you're fortunate enough to still have work and been able to return already, we ask that you continue to sustain our mission with your donations. If you're still out of work from the shutdown, 
don't worry about it. We got your back and so do they. Rely on us for now. But I promise you this, prosperity shall return in 2020. Thank you again so much for coming out. Drop by and visit us at alphaomega.church. And remember, as always, have faith and expect a miracle. And until we have the pleasure of each other's company again, may the God force run strong within you. And as always, may your magics work better than expected. <laughs>